the Sony X800M2 or the 1100ES. Which one's better? Only one can win on this versus this. Now the Sony X800M2 and the 1100ES are very similar on paper, in their form factor, build quality, they are absolutely identical. But there are a few differences that set them apart, including the price point. So what we want to do first is see what's the same between the two and then we'll talk about the differences and then which one is worth the cash. So of course the X800M2 and 1100ES are 4K Blu-ray players. So let's just get that out of the way. They both do 4K, they both do HDR, Dolby Vision. They both upscale to 4K 60 frames per second. They both have a build quality that has anti-vibration. So when that disc is spinning, it's not adding any extra reverberation while you're watching a movie or listening to music. Of course, they all have their streaming app so you can watch just about whatever you want to on them. And then of course they are highly built with great quality um, so you don't to worry about them breaking down over the years they're both solid construction and then they have that sony name so you know you're getting a a plus on that blu-ray player now the sound is equally as impressive with this blu-ray player as is the picture so with the sound you're going to have your latest dolby atmos dtsx you know your your dolby true hd your master audios everything you guys know and love these two blu-ray players will have but it doesn't stop there they are both high res audio so if you want to use this as a cd player you can also do that speaking of that cd player that disc drive it can read just about every dvd out there other than some some of the regions out there are not uh, readable but most of them are readable um so no matter really what disc you put in there is probably going to be able to play it back a burn disc if you like to burn dvd something like that music if you want to uh make your own mixtape whatever you want to do regular dvds blu-rays um 4k ultra hds they all work just fine now the X800M2 comes in at full retail price, $299. You can find that much cheaper in a lot of different places if you look hard enough. And then the 1100ES comes in at around $499, full retail price. If you look hard enough, you'll find that lower too. So $200 more, is it worth that jump to go up to 1100ES? Well, let's talk about what the differences are. What's on that 1100ES that's better than the 800M2? So if you're somebody who has a super fancy home theater, the best quality sound really matters to you. The 1100ES is more tailored towards you. So you're gonna have three HDMI outputs on the back of the 1100ES versus two HDMIs on the back of the 800M2. The difference is that the third one on the ES1100 will have audio out. So if you wanted to stick it into a dedicated receiver, maybe that doesn't have HDMI out, or maybe you just want it to go to a different receiver than maybe your processor or something, then you have an option to do audio out. You can also stick it to a TV or whatever has um, audio coming in, you can send it to it. Um, the 800 will not have that extra HDMI audio only out. Now, what also separates the 1100ES from the 800M2 is going to be the two-channel stereo outputs that it has. Again, these, um, these Blu-ray players are very good with high-res audio. They're gonna give you just about lossless sound that you can think of. Um, the 1100ES is gonna be able to plug in directly to maybe your amplifier or your phono preamp or whatever you wanna put it into. It has two left-right RCAs to, to plug in for audio two-channel listening if you think you like that. Um, so that's also something that may you know, sway your decision towards 1100ES. It also has optical outputs too, so if you don't use HDMI to um, do your sound and your video, maybe you need an optical out to maybe a sound bar or something like that. You may need to use the optical input output option, which the ES1100 will have for you. So that's really just a difference. It comes down to the audio. Picture quality is going to be exactly the same, but the audio, if you really, really want the best and you know that you want to know you have the best flagship out there, the 1100ES will give that to you. But is it really $200 more? <laughs> but is it really worth the $200 extra dollars more? On this versus this, there can only be one. So we have to eliminate somebody. The X800M2 or the 1100ES, which one should your money go to? I think it should go to the 800M2. I think it's a no brainer personally. If you really want the best and you want you know, the two channel audio and the audio out, 
HDMI out port, then, you, then sure, sure, go get it. But honestly, guys, for $200 more, I don't know if that is too much worth it. How often are you gonna use your Blu-ray player as your two-channel stereo setup? How often, you know? So with that being said, we have to crown the winner to the Sony 800M2. That is my choice for you guys on this version of this. So if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Blu-ray players in general. Are they obsolete? Is Are we moving more towards the, you know, the streaming services? or do Blu-ray players still have their place? Let me know that answer down below in the comments down below. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. We will see you in the next video. K-Pace guy out. Peace.